when I felt you, an overwhelming sense of weight bloomed inside of me like a bubble. A pocket of bottom fed air encased, floated purposefully to the surface of some thick viscous mass. You were always underlying. A rumor or a collective understanding not spoken. Perhaps I may as well be talking to the wall. When I finally found you, I laid you out carefully to survey the damage. I couldn't shake the sense that I had overlooked something, forgotten a thing of greater urgency. Your physicality seemed somewhat inconsequential, yet well formed. You were built for purpose. In realization of your depletion, the guilt came like a night of body experience. An imagined blow to the abdomen, slow and heavy, a bruise in formation. Outwardly, you were in good enough order. No sign of frivolous curl or pink silk complexion, likely to burn or break down due to overexposure to harsh winters and high summers. Strong, practical and in proportion. Yet there were signs. You were broken in many places. You wanted me to see this crumpled, folded, red, rot. There were a number of cracks, peripheries distorted. Your right arm was fractured. Internally, small tears and punctures, weak and loosened joints, heart missing. Your spine and skeletal structure, calcite brittle like chalk, was chipped and shrunken shifted, cutting off and deadening the nervous system, which radiated outwards, connecting the internal to the external. Your left eye was closed over, swollen, large and full, a bulging pinkish gray about the size of a small hen's egg. I observed delicate red rivulets stretched across the white satin surface of your impregnated eyelid. What is the value and purpose for your existence? Your presence here. It has been said that the ghost enables us to embody something that can be felt, yet cannot be voiced. And in this way then, this bubble burst on its meniscus, surface tension and immense pressure released and air escaped and you could breathe.